You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, what is going on? My name is Denny Mussolini, and I just want to welcome you guys um, to another awesome episode of Vigilantes Radio, of course. Um, yeah, we have a very special guest for uh, this morning's episode. You guys know we normally don't do a, a morning show, but when we do, we have a blast, right? So I'm glad you guys got my email. Um yeah so I hope you guys are having a blessed day um, there are over 22,000 of you guys on our phone lines in our chat room on the browser Google Hangout Skype all of the plugins that we use to operate this show you guys are filling them up and I appreciate that greatly you could be anywhere in the world on this fine Saturday morning or afternoon depending on uh, what part of the world you're in and uh, yeah so there's like a breast cancer um, run that I'm going to be in later on today. So I got to go do that. Go do that. So pretty excited. So, all right, guys, no matter what you do today, you'll be tired when it's all over. You can be tired after the day of effective effort and accomplishment, or you can be tired after the day of getting nowhere. The choice is yours. If you're going to be tired anyway, it makes sense to get something out of it to put forth your best effort, to move in the uh, direction of your goals, to make a difference, to make a life of excellence for yourself and the world around you. Then along with being tired, you'll be satisfied and fulfilled too. And you'll rest well knowing your life is full, knowing your journey is going well. How would you rather feel tonight? Tired and frustrated or tired and satisfied? It all depends on what you do right now with this day that's waiting to be filled. Take that from me, Denny Mussolini. That is my word, and word is bond. You're live in the mix. Let's get this started. Yo, hello, and welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Music, or the book, or film, or even the business, where we dive into the minds of the people who create these marvelous things. It feels so good to be back with you guys once again. Big ups to my folks who are indigos, crystalline, or the star seas. For my vigilantes audience family, for my hooligans, and shout out to my people who are vegetarian or vegans. If you're in a struggle like me, <laughs> we are averaging over 37,000 live listeners, and we've been at this for five solid years. I appreciate to all you guys who've been rocking with the kid on this journey, and we are still evolving, baby. It is all because of you, most definitely. We are the people who have dedicated their lives to music, spirituality, business, literature, art, films, and research in every aspect. And we want to allow you an opportunity to tell your story. Man, we've had celebrities on our show from Grammy Award winning artists, uh, nominees to actors, comedians, CEOs, technology revolutionaries, visual artists, from authors to professors and vampires. 
or people who think they're vampires. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. Come on our show and talk to me. So check it out to book your interview or to appear on my other show called Skeptics. Email me at vradio at only one meteorgroup.com and that's V as in Victor. We hope to get the stories behind these unique people and give them a chance to tell their truth to us and the universe. That is Vigilantes Radio Soul Purpose. You know the number to dial 701-801-9813. Share that number with your buddy right now and tell them to tune in to connect with us or our guests or you can hop in the mix directly from our website which is only one media group.com. Right from the home page you can slap that go live button and you'll be here live in the mix and in the chat room with all of us. So feel free to shoot over some questions to ask our guests while they are here but only as time permits sometimes my guests and i talk entirely too much and as always all episodes are available for free download and you can grab them from either spricker.com forward slash only one media group itunes plager.fm youtube any app from the google player itunes store or over at our website and that goes for every single episode that we've ever aired well Today's interview is the Cardinal Shiny interview, and I'm your host, Danny Mussolini. Um, I feel a sneeze coming on, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we are the people who have dedicated their mornings, weekdays, and nights to music, books, movies, news, business ventures, conspiracies, and just talking every aspect. For my incredible writing and promotion here on our new Facebook page, by the way, you can go like that um, at Vigilante Radio or to our interviews and music show, which is what you're listening to now, or on this podcast that we have uh, that we talk about spiritual and, uh, and two of the things uh, on a show we got called Skeptics. Our brand or our brand new show, Hated It, and that's where Mike and I review movies of all kind and do uh, voiceover comedy. We spend each and every day giving our maximum effort to create a vibrant, exciting indie and professional community for all creative minds that coexist in this beautiful artistic world. And I told you guys, our special guest is Cardinal Shiny. So with that, let's go ahead and invite him on. Hey man, you're now live in the midst with all of us. How's it going? Hey, how's it going, man? Thanks for having me in today. Thanks for having me here today. I really appreciate it, man. That was pretty cool what you said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Uh, man, you're you're a little deeper than most uh, than most artists, right? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, um, possi- possibly, possibly. <laughs> I mean, coincidence. I, I was just learning about um, like fixed signs, cardinal signs. Oh like yeah, right oh, really? your, yeah, like right before your interview came through. Oh man, that. That's kind of uh, that's kind of something. That's something else. How that happened? Like you were just learning about it. Yeah. You know, that's it. Yeah. Like I mean, that's just something that I kind of just been. Um, uh, I don't know, not teaching, but or learning, but just you know, knowing in my mind about how those things work out and how there's three of each sign. You know, three fixed, three mutable, three cardinal, and you know, going to the the fire, you know, the fire and the water and the earth and the air elements, you know, and how it all, you know, plays out, you know. Got it on, man. Um, a lot of people that I run into, especially online, um, I mean, they, they, they let uh, the Zodiacs rule their life. But not in the sense that there's also air, water, and earth signs that go along with it. You know, they only like halfway in instead of understanding the whole process about, you know, personality traits and why this is that way, why this person is that way. (laughs) Uh, But, you know, uh, that's for another conversation, you know. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) true, 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 yeah. (laughs) I, I mean, I, I just thought it was, you know, something, you know, I guess, you know, f- fun, like a fun, pet, you know, thing to learn about. I mean, I don't know, you know, but 
but I, I understand what you said about how you know you let some people they let it run you know just just run their life or whatever yeah uh, and you know and they only know like the uh, they only know what <laughs> sign they are without knowing mm-hmm. you know all the different levels how deep, how deep it can really go <laughs> most definitely stuff like that. most definitely and there's quantum physics involved and all <laughs> you know all kind of stuff but you know like yeah. you said that's for another conversation that's what you yeah man there's like so many dots you could connect <laughs> yeah <laughs> and I'm still I'm still know. learning myself you know? I'm still going through that journey as well so it's, yeah it's, me it's too. quite interesting you know? oh yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so as far as I can tell man you're somewhat known for your sense of humor within your life and music um tell us a little bit about that oh this <clears throat> Uh, sense of humor. Uh, yeah, I guess, guess you. Can, I guess you can say you know some of the songs, you know, could be kind of funny if you think about it. But um, I think most of the time I don't. I don't even realize it until people tell me that the song, until people oh, until people say that the song brightened their day or whatever. You know, because because of it being humorous. You know, I guess you know I could be recording a song that is fully intended to be quote unquote serious song and somehow a portion of comedic value will still include itself in some of the songs I don't know I guess it's just something that occurs subconsciously or something like that and at the same time you know I only I only wanted to be so funny and so humorous because <laughs> because you know I still would like the original message to be perceived what you know whatever that message may be you know I don't know but yeah man I, I don't know I just grew up around a lot of a variety of characters that were just you know just naturally humor humorous mm-hmm. and I and I think that because of I think that because of so much you know just funny ass turned up you know stuff going on it, you know it helped guide me onto a certain playfulness I don't know that dis- you know that displays itself in the music and I do believe that the listener can always play a song you know and you know look into that mirror you know and see the beauty looking back at them you know just you know just you know try to feel good about this so you know adjust the t-shirt collar and you know you know we all good to go you know <laughs> you know just, or, or just, however, however you want to look at it man you know yeah I don't know. He's trying to make it all good. Do you um, have any trouble with uh, people interpreting what you're saying or, or getting what you're saying? <laughs> well, that um, that part, I, I think, um, let me see, possibly like at first, like a while ago, because the music was a little bit, music was faster, you know, like the lyrics were, you know, really quick, you know, and all that and people were like oh man what are you saying it's, you know you're just it's, the words are coming by so fast and so I think at first a little a little bit possibly you know and even still now I guess you know because now the lyrics are just I don't even know you know a little bit more abstract or whatever so um, I, don't, I don't know really but people I, I people usually know what kind of feeling I'm trying to get across I think definitely Man, one of the great debates out there in music today is over how to actually go about releasing and supporting your songs, you know. Uh, Some people are single release people. Some people are EP or album release people, you know. Um, So the hot button topic or issue of this debate is once the songs are released, how much time do you spend supporting them? Oh, how much time do you spend supporting them? Yeah, in your opinion, how much time should should an artist spend supporting their releases before they move <laughs> on to something else? Oh. <clears throat> well, you know, I know, like for, um, I know, like for me, like I, rem- I remember when I used to do the song or freestyle or whatever. 
um, not too long right after, you know, I would just go right over to the next song and, you know, and do that and then the next song and, or whatever, you know, like I used to just create the music so quickly, you know, like create it fast. You know, I don't know, I guess maybe I, I, maybe I would just focus on creating as much music po- as possible more than anything else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, now, so, you know, now occasionally I just spend more days and moments promoting them. So, yeah, you know, <laughs> just getting better at that promo game, <laughs> getting trying to get up right that on. promo game a little bit, you know, but at first I was just asp- aspiring to be a musician with a lot of music available. But from my perspective, I think I see artists doing both, you know, like a little bit of both. You know, I mean, that's just, you know, just my personal opinion, you know, like I see some artists that do albums, some, you know, and others that do, you know, mixtapes and some artists that just, you know, upload singles to SoundCloud and become very successful. So... You know, I'm not really too sure about that thing. You know, I don't really have all the knowledge about it, but the best thing I could do is just always have new music, you know, ready for the public, I think. Right. Yeah, that's always a good thing, man. Um, Let's talk about your performances. Um, Crowds come in all different sizes and attitudes. (laughs) Sometimes when an artist or band steps on the stage, they can already feel the atmosphere in the room and know what's about to come at them. Maybe the opening act was uh, no good or the person who went before you is no good and the people are sour. Or maybe it all went good as it possibly could go and they are practically ready to give you a hug like they're already yours to lose. You never know, night after night, um, which I'm sure you already experienced out there along the way somewhere at this point in time. But tell us about those nights where it might not be so easy, where you have to rally the crowd or bring them into your world, your music, and get them on your side. How is it possible to swing the mood of an entire crowd in front of you if they are already having a bad night? Oh, man, if it's like that, dang, man. I don't even yeah, that's know. Pretty, that's, a, that's a setup, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I think during a night like that, I you know I might just start off with some music, you know, rapidy rap, stand up comedy, improv kind of thing going on, you know, or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just start acting like a real fool or something, you know, just you know, <laughs> you know, just to get the crowd going, get them turned up and lit, you know, right. like. Like, I remember one night, man, I just got to the stage and, you know, started rapping so fast or whatever, you know, that, you know, some people were in the bathroom and they came out of the bathroom, you know, with their pants, not even all the way up yet, (laughs) because they wanted to see who's on stage. They they were like, man, who's on the stage rapping that fast? And, you know, well, you know, that was before everyone was doing it, you know, or whatever. I don't know. Plus... Plus, you know, I was doing a lot of other high energy stuff to excite the crowd. <laughs> high, you know, high energy to excite the crowd. Yeah. Is that what? I, or you know, or just you know, or just guide them through a quest of their own private imagination, thoughts, consciousness, and places. You know, like. And, you know, and plus, you know, there was, like, people on stage, you know, wearing funny costumes and dancing and, you know, you know, drunk elderly people, you know, trying to figure out how they got there and, you know, till they just say, you know what, I'm just going to have an amazing day here or night, you know. So, you know, I guess it's just, like, my own opinion that it's pretty easy to get the crowd in a pretty good mood when everybody's, you know, just part, having a party, you know, have a, just partying on. Definitely, man. Do you allow yourself to feel the success of what you've achieved already? Oh, yeah, like, I definitely do because I feel like that's a, you know, a pretty good thing to... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because you know it can help people, it can help you out. You know, it can like help me out, help you know help you out and stuff like that. And 
kind of, you know, help see where you were, and how to get, <laughs> you could use it to keep, you know, making more songs and, and, you know, just to keep the thing going so you can keep having more success and stuff like that. Definitely. How do you define success these days? What does it look like for you? Um, I think I can define success. Dang. That is a good question. I can define success as doing what you're doing what you are passionate about mm-hmm. while you know, while helping others. I guess you could say that. Yeah. You know, like adding value to the world and in return you are rewarded by the universe with wealth and prosperity you know mm-hmm. like I'm sure you have people that you love everybody has somebody they, that, that, that they love and care about I got people that I love and care about we all got people that we love <clears throat> and you know allowing myself to help them out through fully including myself and this purpose of music giving love you know I just I just love to see everybody enjoy good fortune forever you know everybody got people that they care about and that comes from the soul you know I just want to say you know I care about y'all and wish the best for y'all you know you know you know you know it's perfectly normal to want to you know live good (laughs) you know stuff like that Sure. So, looking back on it all now, did you feel that the music you made on Friend did enough to set you apart from um, the rest of what's happening out there in, in the music world? Uh, the music on there. To be honest, um, I'm not even. Sh- I'm not even sure if it did. I think it might have. I believe that it did, but I'm not really, you know. I guess I'm not really too concerned if it did or if it did or not because as with every song I believe that I'm just making great music I believe that you know I have a new sound a great sound that is only getting better and better I heard that the world is ready for a new st- ready for new styles mm-hmm. with an abundant you know with an abundant source of tempos and instruments and happiness and good vibes and I just let the music stream and flow without trying to control it, trying to control the direction. You know, you can turn up, dance, you know, even if it's only you in the car <laughs> or playing, you know, whatever. <laughs> or whatever, you know, whatever, wherever you have in the bus car. You know, whatever. I just I just have a natural love for creating music and for the people, you know, whatever moves that they're feeling. Right on, right on. So we're all looking to become timeless through our music somehow. That those songs we write will hold up forever, twenty years from now. Do you feel the material on Friend will be strong enough and still relevant that far into the future? <laughs> um, I personally believe that it will because I believe that it will, like for sure. Mm-hmm. Because like the because the lyrics that I put on there, even though they were freestylish, you know, but I I still think even though they were like freestyle, I think that it will because I think twenty years from now, like the lyrics and that song and that song will like the things that are going on will still, you mm-hmm. know they will just, you know, match right up with it. But the lyrics, you know, as <laughs> as, as abstract as it might be. If you listen to it, you'd be like, oh, my God, it's actually going on right now. I think even, you know, even 100 years from now, it will still be relevant. So you freestyle this record? Oh, uh, yeah, that was just, I, you know, that was just all. I didn't write. I didn't write any of that one. Down. That was just one of them. Some of them are freestyles and some of them I write. But that one was just no, <laughs> no pen, no pad, just freestyle. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You made it to the end, my man. The Vigilantes Radio open floor. Um, this is where you can bring up or mention anything that I didn't cover here in the interview. 
or even uh, disperse some final knowledge. You know, we take it all, man. The floor is yours. Oh, that's what this part is? Um, man, seems like I discussed, discussed it all, I think. <laughs> Maybe. There might there might be um dang there might be something um well well I, I just you know I just want to say you know just just you know thank you and all that stuff to all the you know just thank you to the people and you know whatever job you're at you know just <laughs> keep it going you know it's all looking good you know if you're if you're studying at school. If you're actually, you know, in a college or something studying, I just want to say thank you for being so innovative. Everybody appreciates all the devices and apps, and new technology that is in the process of creation because of y'all and making the world a better place. Right on, you know. Um, do you have anything new coming up soon? Oh, yeah, as a matter of fact, like, there should be new music available like any moment now any day now but you know and all that stuff just trying to get it all mixed and mastered and have it perfectly ready to go <laughs> yeah. so uh, it should be you know on the social media sites you know when it comes out awesome Alright guys, after the music break, it'll be time for our usual tradition. It is called the hot seat. And our fans love this part of the segment, of course, along with the actual interview, but the audience get a chance to hear Cardinal Shiny provide us with some vocals. Maybe he can sing, does poetry, inspirational speech, freestyle rap, jokes, stories, live instruments. You never know if these creative minds or vessels were produced in the spotlight. And today we'll find out if Cardinal Shiny has what it takes to be put on the spot. A test of his true artistry and maybe even some hidden talents. But for right now, we have Cardinal Shiny with his song "Friend," and we'll be right back. Ooh. Ooh. Just Do what you love to do. Do what you do. Do what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkle in your eyes, ah, but it brought you in a lot of <laughs> So if you happen to be with a church and we're laughing, and you just laugh in the season. I said, my dog, it was so if you need a hug, you got a friend of the season. Yeah. I said, I love the way they sing, yeah, love the way they sing, yeah. So it's about the ocean with the lamb, I sing so clean, now we win. Love it when they blame back. Love it when they blame back. But when I say I love you because of the beat, was what that seemed to be. It be that sparkle in your eyes. I've been a palm tree in a lottery. So if you happen to be with a judge, we'll have an angel life for the season. I'm just gonna get one, so if you need a hug, you gotta bring me season. 
Sometimes I feel like laughing characters, burritos and chairs, and old genius fragging all the cool sister that go in with melodies, but what's sexier than bag of that purple fire that's cake of my gin and twine just like banana pie by Yeah, that joke let us guy die, but with a few but just still learning like a robot of on that when I get to cooking. Bright lights and the wines and that's a bunch of good women yeah. And night time but niggas on my boy Yeah, we're just good living Night time is over like just in time to fly kites As we still looking Like a fine line between beach and sizzling And I'm at night, yeah, look, listen I'm never scared when they're busting Wasting, rising, rising, rising Lights like you, blazing with the man I'll blend the car, my sun rising Driving, lighting the pile in the lights And the cake was in the mire I like it, the paper plants for the holiday Down the miracles go around and around Like a swear, I had to go down and down the aisle I'm better than a pound of medical flight Out my lady, driving my Chevy, yes sir Show us guys with confetti, Peter Brothers, all these fries and a big side Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi. I scream and get rid of I really like that. Really like Strawberries and Cheerios. Yeah, I really like that. When she woke up, she didn't Got her hair done and toes done. Her brows on fleet with her feet to match. On the back patio. I don't know how much she was leaning back. Got a bitch on the green green spinner. Friend of mine, you know, I gleam like that. You know, I was in my life. Perform this song of the energy to the right. I said, I love the way they sing. Yeah, you love the way they sing. Yeah. So I'm about to ocean with the lamas and so clean. How we do it. Love it when they lean back, love it when they lean back But when I say I love you because of the beat, what's with that seem to be? It be that sparkle in your eyes, I've been a palm tree, in a lottery-ish So if you have any beat with a treasure, we'll have an angel laugh for the season I said I can't get it, so if you need a hug, you want a brand new season Oh man, like I just did the whole monologue here and the engineer still had me muted, bro Dude, you got, you got one job, man. Push the button. One job. Only. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> anyway, that was Cardinal Shiny with his song, Friend. I love abstract music. So, as endurance athletes refer to it as the, the wall. It's that agonizing period fairly early in the race when the body just doesn't want to keep going. Experienced competitors know that once they get through the wall, things get much easier and they can just keep going and going. In fact, the next milestone is referred to as a runner's high, an absolute euphoria that lies on the other side of the wall. The same profile usually occurs in any effort, whether it's business, music, relationships, or other kinds of projects. It's easy to get started on something. You have plenty of excitement and adrenaline once you're up and running you begin to approach the wall. That's where the vast majority of people give up. That's where you are met head on by the difficult challenges. It is what separates winners from all the rest. It is not the time to give up. Muster all your strength and your will and make yourself get through the wall. Meet the difficult challenges early on and keep forging ahead. You'll soon be over that wall. Then the going will get smooth and your progress will be swift, even to the point of euphoria. This sure beats quitting and having to start all over again. Trust me on that. Take that from me, Denny Mussolini. That is my word, and word is bond. But for right now, let's bring back the man of the moment, Cardinal Shani. You're back live with us. And in our hot seat, what do you have for us? Hey, how's it going? Um, man, in the hot seat, I usually have, you know, a freestyle or something. But, you know, um, like, the damn, it's just... <laughs> um, man, you know, I just or a poem or something like that. I got a whole bunch of them, but I don't know if I'm gonna read those. But you know, and I, I just want to say, you know, just try to give a positive message. You know, is it, you know, is that possible? You know, to say, yeah. yeah, you know, man, it's cool. You know, to get up. You know, like I just woke up not too long ago. You know, and to have you know somebody to talk to you know and I know this is scheduled and everything but you know <clears throat> I don't know it just seems like it just seems like this in the world man in this world man it's always cool to you know just help other people out because you never know what what's going on and stuff like that but <clears throat> let me see if I were to freestyle or something let me see let me see if I got it. I pulled up to the club, you know, I showed up with a lot of lame bitches twerking booty. Swallow Xanax and they suck in D. Oh, my God. Rolling up blunt, sucking up dick, right up in the car. I'm about to get drunk, chilling with famous bras, you know. 
like some movie stars. And they trying to fuck, so we better get this hotel. Invited my work to the mansion and got the swimming pool and some old pills. Now we hella wealthy, got a lot of cars and that purple drink. You know, we're trying to chill. Now, you know, just, you know, I don't know, just a little freestyle. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, definitely I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah. What do you want people uh, to connect with you at? Oh, to con- um, I guess you know, really, just you know, whatever they want. You know, I mean, oh, what what do I want them to, to connect with me as? Yeah, online. Um, I guess just you know, I don't think I have like a specific because it seems like every time I try to explain what I'm trying to do, it's like, man. It does. It seems like that's not what it is. Like I try to be, you know, a person that you know to connect with. You know, when you want to be whatever, and it's like, man, it just it's something else. So now it's just, you know, whatever. If you know, like, if you want to hear some songs or some music, and you you know, and I, you know, I think you might, you know, feel it. Then you know, you can just download it or whatever. And um. Yeah. But more than that, you know, or, you know, even if you got, like, you know, the PS4 and you want to get, play, you know, some Madden or some 2K7 or, you know, or whatever, or even, you know, what I call it, you know, it is what it is, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. if you think, if you think you're good enough, you know, because, yeah. Definitely. But more than anything, right. man, I just hope it's a good feeling. Yeah. Definitely. Um, guys, we have all his social media links in the uh, description of this episode. So all you have to do is click those links. Uh, we have the YouTube, the Twitter, Reverb Nation, Facebook, and SoundCloud, as well as uh, yeah, yeah, SoundCloud. I mentioned that. So definitely click the links, connect with Cardinal Shiny, send them some messages, let them know you enjoy the music. Man, we appreciate you, my brother. Uh, unfortunately, I'm an Xbox guy, so I can't connect with you. Uh, oh, Fortnite. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, how uh, I can do it on Xbox, possibly? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm an Xbox guy, man. My daughter, she's a PS person. I just uh, can't do the PS. Damn. <laughs> I almost had a new yeah. friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, if I'm, you want to play Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I was just playing it, like, you know, last night. You know, I can, I can definitely do some Fortnite. I'm getting pretty good at it. Oh yeah, I prefer uh, PUBG, but uh, Fortnite. Oh is- yeah, that, that's a good one. Oh PUBG, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a beast, man. <laughs> I'm serious, man. Like when I when I'm on the team. We could be riding in the Jeep or whatever. I hear gunshots. I'm getting out of the Jeep to go explore those gunshots. They're like, no, you know, get back in. We got to get out of here. Like, no, nah, man, let's go handle this. Let's go handle uh, this. Oh I'm that my type God. of guy. Yeah. You see, yeah, it, I'm, I mean, it's like, good. yeah, it's like, what's up? What's the use of waiting in the Jeep, you know? <laughs> yeah. Why are we running? <laughs> point in the game is to get the kill count up and uh, be the last man standing. Exactly, man. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah. True, true. Definitely, man. Well, all right, man. Well, we'll definitely keep in touch, man. Uh, we can maybe connect on, you know, the Xbox and X, uh, PS4. Maybe we can have you on our other show called Skeptics. And that's just a show where we just, uh, we just talk. There's no script. Uh- uh, there's no interview. It's just we're, we're conversating with with other people on the phone as well. Oh, that that sounds cool right there. You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. Sounds definitely fun. keep in touch, bro. All right, for sure, man. I can do that. I can keep in touch. All yeah. right, man. You have a great day. All right, you too, man. Thank you. My Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab that from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, iTunes, YouTube, 
any app that's on a Google Play or iTunes store or our website. And that goes from every single episode that we've ever aired. If you'd like to request music or a particular guest or send something for me to play, email it to vradio at onlyonemediagroup.com. If it's music, please label it by artist and title. Here's my disclaimer. We are genre-free, we do not judge, and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone. And actually, you can scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right. That's the bottom line. This is my show, so deal with it. (laughs) Nah, just kidding. On behalf of myself, Danny Mussolini, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us. Spread the word because sharing is caring. We stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show. Be sure to connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, as well as Spricker. We always follow back. That is the number one rule. Okay, well, just remember to be yourself and be absolutely great at just doing that. Avoid being too comfortable because you're messing with your potential when you do that. Peace and have a good night. And now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer The Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a 7th Sign Regime Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate Exclusive.